Welcome back to Forex Professional Training in Financial Markets. In this session we are going to introduce financial markets, trading types and the advantages of using Forex. The first part of this session is related to the history of financial markets. History of Financial Markets These markets were formed immediately after the first ever trade was made. With the rapid technological progress and industry expansion, the amount of imports and exports between countries has dramatically increased. As a result, the core of foreign exchange and financial market relations were established. The beginning of the computer age and the birth of the internet led to the ever-increasing speed and ease of making these transactions. This made it a bigger business than ever. High investments in this business from banks and other financial institutions have created the necessary trust between buyers and sellers that we know today. This has made free and easy trading possible. These days many merchants and traders prefer to do their business either through specialized software or on the legal websites of banks and financial institutions. What is more Neither parties see each other in person, or the product in question. This system is only possible with the credit and insurance that banks and financial institutions have established. Different Sections of Financial Markets All financial markets have different sections. Here we have broken it down into five. The first section is called a stock. With the help of financial institutions and other companies, people can either buy or sell these stocks all over the world. For example, in England, London Stock Exchange has provided people with the chance of buying and selling stocks. The second section, which most people show interest in, is called an index. This is where, instead of buying a single share of a company, Many people intend to buy an index of that share. These can be traded internationally. In America, these are known as S&P 500 or the Standard & Poor's 500 and in Germany they are known as DAX, Deutsche Aktien Index. The third section of financial markets that interest traders is commodity. This is where most people intend to buy and sell various goods such as gold, silver, oil, wheat and so on. The fourth section is commonly known as bonds. The government's bonds and non-governmental shares with or without fixed rate security are easy to purchase. For example, in the USA, the Department of Treasury offers such bonds. The fifth section is related to the foreign currency exchange and forex. This is the largest part of the market. In this section legal parties intend to buy and sell foreign currencies. For instance when you take British pounds or US dollars to exchange for any other currency you are selling and buying foreign currency. These kind of transactions make up the majority of trades on all financial markets. Different Trades in Financial Markets There are a variety of different trades that can be made within financial markets. We will look at a few of them here. Instant or Spot Trade The first type of trade is made using instant contracts, better known as a spot trade. In this type of contract, the goods being traded are at the owner's discretion. This means they have no obligation to change the contract or their position within the trade. For example, if you to buy a house or a gold coin, it is down to you how long you hold on to these items and you are free to wait for the right time to sell them on. Future Trade The second type of trade is an upcoming or future trade. In these contracts, a fixed future date should be settled on by both parties as an expiry date. These trades require the buyer to pay a certain amount as a deposit. If the expiry date is reached, then the owner must sell the given product, if it has not been sold yet. 
Option Trade. The third type of trade is called an option trade. These are exactly the same as the future trades we just looked at, except that the agreed upcoming date of the trade can be changed. However, this can only be done if both parties agree on the change of date. The consequence of this increased flexibility is that these trades are more expensive to make. Forward trade. The fourth type of trade is about self-contract and is called a forward trade. In these trades the buyer is required to pay the full amount up front and receive the goods on a future date. Advantages of using Forex in comparison to other markets. The next thing that we will talk about in this session are the benefits of using Forex trading market. The first benefit is that Forex is operational 24 hours a day. Since Forex is a global market, trading is continuous as long as there is a market open somewhere in the world. It is an interbank network which works day and night, meaning any party can make their trade at any time. The second benefit is that Forex market also enjoys the highest level of liquidity. There are always buyers and sellers in this market who make trades of any amount at any time. Trades are made in two ways in Forex. Traders can buy currency before its value rises, thus making profit, or sell currency before it drops, again deriving profit. This is an advantage that other markets do not offer. Therefore, there are many opportunities to make profit. The third benefit is that Forex allows you to use leverage. Leverage means traders can enter the market at a position that they think will bring them more profit, even if that position needs more funds than their trading account capital would allow. On the other hand, as its drawback, traders face higher amount of loss with less movement against prediction. Finally, the current growth in technology any party can monitor their trades using internet on their smartphone. This shows once more that this is an ever-growing market. That concludes this session. Until next time, and another session, take care.